In this video, we will see how to transform our data if it's not properly distributed. By not properly distributed, I mean if our data is uh, somewhat skewed. So it may be possible that it's skewed towards right and there is a long right tail, or it may be possible that it's skewed the other way. There is a long left tail and kind of this. Then our aim would be to make it more uniformly distributed or look it more like a normal distribution. Somewhat like this. So by transformation, we mean changing each data point in a certain column to make the distribution more closer to a normal distribution. So we will apply some power transformations for that. So some of the com common transformations, power transformations are the keys transformation, which is uh, x raised to the power of lambda. So x is the initial uh, value. So we define some lambda and then the result is x raised to the power of lambda if lambda is greater than zero and minus of this if it's less than zero. And if lambda is zero, we are defining log x. Otherwise, if we simply put zero here, it will be one and for every data, it will be one. So for zero, we have a special case. Similarly, another uh, popular transformation is box Cox transformation. So this is x raised to the power lambda minus one divided by lambda. And for zero, it's log x. And here, in fact, this log x can be derived from this because we know that uh, x raised to the power lambda minus one, this can be written as so we can write it as e raised to the power log of x raised to the power lambda. So because uh, e raised to the power log of base e or ln something k, it's same as k. Because if we take log of e on both sides, it will become log e k and here also it will become log e k. So we can write k as e raised to the power log of e k or we also write it as l n for natural logarithm. So minus one divided by lambda and uh, we can write e raised to the power x as one plus x plus x square divided by two factorial and x cubed three factorial and so on. So let's ignore the higher order terms because we are uh, looking for a lambda equal to zero. So for a, a smaller value, we can ignore it safely. So we can write it as one plus e raised to the power, sorry, uh, one plus log of x raised to the power lambda minus one, ignoring higher order terms and this minus minus goes away and this lambda will come outside because it's in power. So lambda log x divided by lambda and it will become log x, which is this value. Now, what is the process of applying transformation? So first we determine the range of exponents that we want to test. So for it's uh, usual to, to be in the range of minus five to plus five. <coughs> So we will uh, use our own custom range. We will not definitely use one of these, but we will use some simpler transformation. So we will apply transformation to each value of the chosen feature. And then uh, based on some plot, we can plot after applying the transformation that uh, for which transformation it's look more uniformly distributed like a normal distribution. So let's begin in our notebook. So this was the state of our notebook uh, at the end of uh, lecture on feature evaluation. So now we will just plot our two new features. So let's copy it here. And let's run it. And then we will define the bins similar to earlier. And we will plot for msg len first. 
and here we don't need to compare for a spam and ham we will plot all the data and then let's put a title here message length now let's run it so we see that uh, this is the distribution for message length so this is not really skewed like we saw in our example so it's kind of uh, we can see uh, by model kind of distribution it's and it's spread somewhat uh, uniformly it's not a perfect candidate for uh, that uh, transformation so let's try it on our another feature and here the range here the range was uh, between 0 and 250 mostly here in this case punctuation percentage it's uh, very less it's under 30 so we will change our range here we will put 30 or let's put 50 and we will use 50 bins for that and this column is punctuation percentage and let's plot it so here we can see that the data is skewed and we see a long right tail so we will apply some transformation here and uh, we can see that here most of the uh, messages have a punctuation percentage of around five four to five percentage so it's a perfect candidate for uh, this uh, transformation so let's uh, define some powers so we will uh, use a square root so if we do square root we will see that uh, most of the distribution will be around 2 or 3 2 like here it's close to 4 and 5 so square root of that will be 2 and uh, it will affect these less these values than so let's uh, see it in the running code and then we will visualize it let's put some powers one two three let's put one more one two four and we will first do the normal plot and then square root of that so we don't need to do the normal plot here then cube root of this and one fourth power of this and let's see which one gives good result and here we will uh, we will print what is the value of transformation so uh, this was the original with power of 1 then the square root of this is uh, this transform which looks somewhat better than this and less skewed so as expected you see that here most of the values were around 4 to 5 so square root of that will be around 
2 and between 2 and 2.5 and you can see it here similarly cube root will be 1 point something because uh, if we do cube of 2 it will be 8 so it has to be less than 2 but more than 1 so it's somewhere here 1.7 and similarly for one fourth, it's even closer to 1.5. So this one fourth looks much better. Let's try one more. So there is not too much difference between one fourth and one fifth. So we can pick, uh, we can pick with this one fourth. It looks good. And here, uh, this is uh, some messages have. In fact, good enough number of messages have zero punctuation percentage, so that will remain there in uh, whatever power transform we apply. So uh, this is how we can uh, convert a skewed data into a more normal kind of distributed data and it will help our machine learning algorithm to learn better instead of uh, deviating and trying to focus more on this mm, skewed and long tail part of the distribution. So that's all for feature engineering. We will now start uh, training our machine learning algorithm. So see you in the next video. Thank you.